Scientists have discovered the true ferocity of a huge volcanic eruption off the coast of Tonga in January. Research ships have found that flows of debris stretching at least 80 kilometers across the seabed. Let's hear more from Tom Brada. The largest underwater volcano has suddenly cracked open the earth. The largest underwater volcano has suddenly cracked open the earth and it's a ticking time bomb. But how powerful is this volcano and what could happen if it erupts? Well, the eruption of this volcano could create a tsunami that could reach heights of over 100 meters, devastating nearby coastal communities. But that's not all. Later in this video, we'll take a deeper look at the science behind this eruption and what it means for the future of our planet. Tonga's volcanic activity has recently thrust this remote South Pacific nation into the global spotlight. Breaking news reports have alerted the world to a tsunami striking Tonga, triggered by volcanic eruptions of significant magnitude. Nuku Alofa, the capital city, has not been spared as it finds itself blanketed in a thick layer of volcanic dust, creating an eerie and surreal atmosphere. When we envision volcanoes, we often think of iconic images, towering peaks, constant steam emissions, and dramatic eruptions. However, Tonga's geological landscape introduces us to something unique and, in many ways, mysterious. Here, beneath the deep blue waters of the Pacific Ocean, lies one of the world's largest underwater volcanoes, known as Hunga Tonga Hunga Haiapai. The existence of this colossal geological formation is a result of the convergence of the Pacific Plate and the Indo-Australian Plate. Their dynamic interaction has shaped the Kermadec Tonga Ridge, a chain of islands and volcanoes hidden beneath the ocean surface. Hunga Tonga Hunga Hayapai, the largest among them, remains predominantly submerged. Only two small volcanic islands, aptly named Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hayapai, serve as silent markers of this underwater volcano's existence. Yet the true magnitude of this submerged giant becomes evident when we delve into its physical dimensions. With a base spanning an impressive 20 kilometers in diameter, extending across the sea floor, it ascends majestically to a height of about 2,000 meters towards the ocean's surface. What are the key indicators or factors that scientists monitor to predict and assess the potential for catastrophic eruptions from underwater volcanoes like this? Hunga Tonga, Hunga Hayapai's caldera, which lies approximately 490 feet below sea level, measures a colossal two and a half miles in length and a mile in width. Remarkably, the submerged giant undergoes transformations with each eruption, shaping its landscape anew. Evidence of eruptions dating back to 1180 CE showcases the persistent and volatile nature of this underwater giant. However, recent events have amplified concerns about its potential for sudden and catastrophic eruptions. The 2021-2022 eruptions witness an unprecedented increase in the volcano's activity, putting the world on edge. In December 2021, an eruption of volcanic explosivity, Index 6, rocked the region. Its impact was felt as far as Nukualofa, prompting immediate advisories for airlines due to the volcanic activity's intensity. This eruption marked a rare event comparable to the Krakatoa eruption in the 19th century, hinting at the potential for global consequences if Hunga Tonga Hunga Hayapai were to erupt in full force. The geological activity beneath Tonga's waters and the history of eruptions paint a picture of a region living on the edge, with the power to reshape not only its own landscape, but potentially the course of global events. The volcanic activity at Tonga Hunga Hoapai took a dramatic turn in December 2021 when it unleashed a substantial eruption, catching both locals and scientists off guard. The eruption was so intense that it produced a massive ash plume visible even from the town of Nuku Alofa. And this sudden event prompted aviation authorities to issue advisories, warning airlines to take precautionary measures due to the volcanic activity. The eruption's explosions were not contained within the immediate vicinity. They could be heard up to a staggering 110 miles away from the epicenter, a testament to its immense power. 
After this initial eruption phase, there was a brief period of dormancy declared on January 11, 2022. However, this respite proved to be short-lived. The volcano reawakened on January 14, unleashing a violent eruption that surpassed the intensity of the December event. This time, the volcanic plume ascended to a remarkable 36 miles into the mesosphere, breaking records for the highest volcano plume in satellite records. The impact of this eruption reverberated across vast distances, with shockwaves reaching Tonga, Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, and even as far as Alaska, approximately 6,200 miles from the source. In a startling comparison, this volcanic explosion even outstripped the force of nuclear explosions conducted by the United States. The sheer scale of this geological event left experts astounded. A comprehensive study, drawing on satellite data, direct field observations, and drone mapping shed light on the eruption's dimensions and ripple effects. It also delved into the mechanisms behind the formation of towering tsunami waves reaching up to 148 feet on Tonga's Tafua Island and 56 feet on Tonga Tapu. This eruption released an unprecedented volume of water vapor into the atmosphere, equivalent to the capacity of 58,000 swimming pools with potential implications for the planet's climate. How might the release of water vapor from the Tonga Hunga Haipai eruption in 2021-2022 influence the Earth's climate in terms of short-term and long-term effects, and what are the potential consequences for global weather patterns? The eruption of Tonga Hunga Haipai it not only left a significant impact on the region, but it also served as a stark reminder of the immense power that lies dormant beneath the ocean surface and the far-reaching consequences it can unleash on a global scale. The eruption had profound climate implications primarily due to the unprecedented release of water vapor into the atmosphere. This massive infusion of water vapor carried significant implications for the planet's climate. While the immediate impact was not discussed in detail, it's worth noting that such an event could potentially lead to temporary global warming. This concern arose in light of the already existing challenges posed by extreme climate change in 2023, which had made the summer particularly harsh. The additional influx of heat-trapping gases into the atmosphere like water vapor can exacerbate the warming effect and further disrupt weather patterns. The eruption's record-setting volcanic plume ascending to a remarkable 36 miles into the atmosphere had far-reaching effects on the atmosphere itself. It introduced a significant amount of volcanic aerosols, which could influence weather patterns and even contribute to short-term cooling by reflecting sunlight away from the Earth's surface. To assess the extent of damage caused by the eruption, researchers conducted ground-level assessments of the affected areas. These assessments revealed downed trees and vegetation lining the coast, demonstrating the destructive force unleashed by the eruption. Such ground-level observations confirm the magnitude of the event, emphasizing the need for comprehensive research and preparedness in the face of such natural disasters. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please give the like to the video and subscribe to our channel for more like it. What were some of the specific characteristics or behaviors exhibited by Kilauea during its 2018 eruption that defied expectations and highlighted the unpredictability of shield volcanoes? This unpredictable nature serves as a stark reminder of the Earth's inherent geological dynamism, often catching us off guard with their sudden and dramatic eruptions. One prime example of this unpredictability is the 2014-2015 submarine eruption near Tonga Hunga Haiopai, an event that created a new island and underscored the capricious behavior of volcanoes. During this eruption, molten rock and volcanic materials erupted from beneath the ocean surface, creating a spectacle of fiery lava and ash. This eruption was particularly noteworthy for its rapid transformation of the underwater landscape, leading to the formation of a new island. While such volcanic islands are typically considered temporary, this event highlighted the volatile nature of volcanic activity in the region and its ability to reshape coastlines in a matter of years. Shield volcanoes provide another perspective on volcanic unpredictability exemplified by Kilauea's 2018 eruption. These volcanoes are known for their gentle slopes and the relatively fluid lava they produce, which can flow over long distances. Kilauea, a prominent shield volcano located in Hawaii, experienced this eruption in 2018 that defied expectations. 
The eruption began unexpectedly May 3rd, 2018 and continued until August 6th of 2018, characterized by multiple fissures opening in the ground. The eruption resulted in extensive lava flows that buried subdivisions and destroyed hundreds of homes in the lower Puna district of Hawaii. This eruption was a powerful reminder that even shield volcanoes, typically associated with less explosive eruptions, can exhibit unpredictably devastating behavior. Cinder cone volcanoes represent yet another facet of volcanic unpredictability, epitomized by Paracutan's rapid growth. These volcanoes are characterized by steep conical profiles formed by the accumulation of loose cinder-like rocks ejected during eruptions. Paracutan, located in Mexico, gained worldwide recognition for its unique emergence. So how do the characteristics and behaviors of stratovolcanoes like Mount St. Helens and Mount Fuji contribute to the unpredictability and potential hazards associated with their eruptions even after periods of dormancy? It rose from a cornfield over just nine years, eventually engulfing the town of San Juan Parangarequitiro beneath layers of lava. The rapidity of Paracutan's growth exemplifies the spontaneous and unpredictable nature of volcanic eruptions, which can dramatically alter landscapes and communities in a short span of time. Finally, stratovolcanoes with towering heights and steep slopes exemplify volcanic unpredictability through events like the eruption of Mount St. Helens in the United States and the ongoing potential activity of Mount Fuji in Japan. Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980 was particularly destructive, claiming lives and causing extensive damage. Mount Fuji, Japan's iconic stratovolcano, though dormant since 1707, serves as a reminder that even seemingly quiescent volcanoes can reawaken, presenting unpredictable challenges in the future. These examples underscore the ever-present uncertainty surrounding volcanic activity and the need for vigilant monitoring and preparedness in volcanic regions worldwide. Historical volcanic events have left a lasting imprint on human history, often altering the course of civilizations and reshaping our understanding of the Earth's dynamic processes. One such event is the eruption of Mount Fuji in 1707, a cataclysmic event that had significant repercussions for Japan. Mount Fuji reawakened after centuries of dormancy in 1707 with a powerful eruption, and this eruption was marked by the expulsion of ash and lava, creating a formidable spectacle in the sky. What followed was a series of natural disasters that would profoundly impact the nation. How did the volcanic winter caused by the eruption of Mount Fuji in 1707 compare to the conditions that facilitated the spread of diseases during the Justinianic Plague in the 6th century, and what were the significant parallels between the two events? The eruption of Mount Fuji led to a phenomenon known as a volcanic winter, and this term refers to a period of significant climate cooling caused by volcanic eruptions as massive amounts of ash and sulfur dioxide are released into the atmosphere. In this case, the eruption of Mount Fuji resulted in the injection of these substances into the upper atmosphere, leading to a widespread dimming of sunlight and a drop in global temperatures. The consequences of the volcanic winter of 1707 were far-reaching. The sudden and prolonged drop in temperatures had devastating effects on agriculture, leading to crop failures and food shortages. The disruption to food supplies contributed to widespread famine, affecting communities across Japan. The Plague of Justinian, named after the Byzantine Emperor, was one of the earliest recorded pandemics in history. It occurred during the reign of Justinian I in the 6th century and had a profound impact on the Eastern Roman Empire. The eruption of Mount Fuji and the resulting volcanic winter in 1707 bore some parallels to the conditions that facilitated the spread of diseases during this Justinianic plague. The plague of Justinian resulted in the deaths of millions of people and had far-reaching consequences. It disrupted economies, altered social structures, and left a lasting impact on the course of history. These historical volcanic events serve as a stark reminder of the complex and interconnected relationship between geological processes and human civilization. They highlight the need for vigilance in monitoring volcanic activity and preparing for the potential consequences of future eruptions as the unpredictability of volcanoes continues to shape our world.
The vulnerability of Hunga Tonga to future eruptions raises profound concerns. The catastrophic consequences of a massive eruption could be devastating, with far-reaching impacts on a global scale. The potential for tsunamis, volcanic plumes, and climatic disturbances underscores the urgency of monitoring and preparedness efforts. It prompts a sobering question about humanity's ability to survive such an event, given the interconnected nature of our world. While science and preparedness have come a long way, the unpredictability of nature reminds us to remain vigilant and collaborative in our efforts to mitigate the potential consequences of future volcanic eruptions. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.